wax resist. So for this one, you can use uh, a piece of wax, a candle, or even a crayon. You can use a crayon with color. I often have white on hand, so it's not as intrusive to what we are creating. Um, but you know, you can write your name, you can do a design, whatever it is, but you do have to put a fair bit of pressure to get the wax down. And then adding a wash. Oh, my water just got dirty, but I, see, I can't even put the wash down. You can already see that the water is beating. And so then I'm using the paint and it repels. So that's the effect there. I could put less wax to allow some of the paint to um, absorb into the paper. I can allow this to dry. And then I can put another wax design over top and do another wash again. So that's the interesting thing about watercolor paper. It does allow you to rework paint over and over again.